some brand new revelations coming out, a royal scandal, you might say, that evolved many years ago now. So how does this really impact on the likes of Harry and Meghan? As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here. Nice to see you. And as ever, thank you so much for your company. By the way, lots of people getting in touch about that now snatched kiss. So it wasn't a kiss, was it? It was when Prince William was uh, visiting the beautiful area here in the United Kingdom known as Bournemouth. Wonderful area, let me tell you. If you ever want a quick break, that's the place to go. Lovely seaside resort. Let me also point out some wonderful fish and chips, I've been told too. Oh, it makes you hungry thinking about it, doesn't it? Prince William was there as part of one of his charitable endeavours and bumped into the former footballing legend, Paul Gascoigne, affectionately known as Gaza, and of course they embraced, and basically Prince William wanted to know what he was doing there. Of course the media make a lot of it, but as someone pointed out to me, and it's interesting this, isn't it, that sort of embrace would never have happened to our late monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. Nobody would have dared, well he wouldn't have got that close, but nobody would have dared reach out and lean in for a peck. So people might say just how far or modernised the British monarchy has become. Interesting when you think about it like that though, isn't it? But back as ever to your breaking royal story of the day, these all really centre upon these now infamous tapes that are going to be turned once again into some kind of documentary about the late beautiful Princess Diana. These tapes form the basis of her book, this scandalising sort of book written by Andrew Moulton, all of those years ago, which when you think of it, was the very instigation of bringing down, as many people think, the backbone of the monarchy as we knew it. It's hard to imagine in that pre-internet world just what a revelation this was. But as you can see, you know, you have to remember, during this particular point again, Princess Diana was rather troubled and really should never have sat down or had these conversations recorded, which she did herself at the bulk of it. But I think what's highlighting this is what's really sort of pointing out, and Prince Harry's done this himself, is just what an unstable person Princess Diana was. There's the bombshell revelations, of course, that Prince Charles allegedly was hoping for a girl upon the arrival of Prince Harry, but that didn't mean he loved him any less, but that's what the media pick up upon. But I think what a lot of people are pointing out is they should be left back, and more importantly, no one's come out, particularly Prince Harry, to condemn once again someone else exploiting his own family. You see, it's tricky, isn't it? He's continued to exploit his own mother in various guises through his own Netflix documentary. Well, some might suggest he's allowed to. That is, of course, the fact that she is his mother. But nonetheless, when they keep asking for peace to step back and, of course, you know, shall, shall we say, admire their privacy, leave the past alone, if Harry can do it, why not these former journalists? But as one source pointed out to me inside Palace Walls, if anything, this will highlight, and this is a good point in fact, just how deranged Diana was at that point. And more importantly, as this now followed through to Prince Harry, she seemingly believed all the gossip and scandal around her, very similar to Prince Harry with his battle with the press and these alleged mysteries that come towards him. All the while, they crave the spotlight, as does Prince Harry, as you saw recently, coming back to London. So clearly there are problems inherent between mother and son, but the bottom line is Harry's still carrying them on. As for Princess Diana's tapes, I'm not suggesting, and I think you'll agree with me on this, that in fact they will get that much of an audience. People have moved on and everybody's now made their own mind up about, well, the final days, hours, moments, whatever you want to call them, of the late beautiful princess. She was a troubled lady and really should be left in peace. Once again, it would be nice to hear from someone else who's very vocal about pointing out exactly how his life has impacted all thanks to his late mother's. I'm sure you'll agree. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.